know you say every week is that you always talk about like making a plan, you know, and everything. Yeah. And like, you know, I have my workout plan. Now I kind of have my meal plan. When I'm at work, I kind of have like my, my, my outlook schedule that tells me, okay, this is what I'm going to work on. This is what I work on next. You know, and that always kind of changes. Mm -hmm. But kind of like blending those things together along with just like life in general, that's where I kind of struggle with is like trying to make that plan, like how to make all that work together, like my sleep, you know, uh, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, totally. I'm, Okay. Well, let, let's talk through that. Cause I, I absolutely have solutions for that. That's, it's funny that you bring that up. I mean, it's probably not too. Um, so clearly there's been multiple lessons where I've talked about it. I'm in a phase in my own life where that's like, that's what I'm like most working on. It's like efficiency. And I mean, I, I've always been just efficiency in general. It's what I'm probably most passionate about in regards to health anyways. Um, but I've been going through a phase of that. And I want to say to you, just for everybody that can hear me right now, um, I want to give credit where credit is due. A lot of the efficiency things I've taught lately, um, some of them, you know, I've kind of expanded on from other people, but a lot of the information I've shared, I've recently learned from other people. Specifically, um, there's one of my mentors, um, Yasin Arshad, Muhammad Malik, um, who else? Um, Cole Watt. Um, so just, I, I want to give credit to a lot of people that I've to, you know, kind of gotten some of these things from because, um, yeah. So anyways, um, something that I do that it sounds like would help. Um, well, first I want to just two seconds, the, the whole distraction thing. Um, so I, that's like my favorite thing to hear is when somebody does the, uh, newsfeed eradicator and then they're like, for the next like two weeks, they're like, they notice how often they go to it. And then they realize it's not there. And they're like, Oh wow. <laughs> I really like, cause we don't, nobody, nobody is aware of how often they check their social media feed because it's such a mindless activity. And there's something that I teach about in our, in our program called um, glancing. And it's how many times you just pick up your phone and swipe it on. And nobody has any idea how many times they do that. It's, I think the iPhone actually just came out with something that tracks it called, called pickups. I think so many times you pick it up hmm. and it's like, it's like 500 times a day for a lot of people. And they'd, if I asked them point blank, that same person would be like, oh yeah, it's probably like 15 times. Like, yeah, 15 times every 20 minutes. You know, and, and then every time you do it, you're probably on there for anywhere from 60 seconds to 10 minutes. And yeah, so there's all these like, so that one little thing, the newsfeed eradicator, that's probably one of like a hundred different hacks that I can share with you. So, I'm oh, like, I bet. I mean, I'm like, geeking out over here. There, there's times like sometimes I'm so bad at it. Like, I'll, like, I'll wake up in the morning, I'll plan to do something, you know, like I, I'm going to go make breakfast or whatever. And then I'll look at my phone and like an hour or so has gone by and i'm like I, I could have been making breakfast like what the hell like yes. i just wasted an hour right there like these little things they seem harmless there is a trillion dollar per year industry with these to steal our attention that's what that these things are attention hogging machines that is how they're designed so it's like, it's not easy to break free from them. Like they, it is literally a shackle holding people back. And I, like I say that, and until somebody's kind of experienced like playing around with it and testing it and implementing some of the things I tell them about, they, they, they I can tell they're like looking at me sideways, like, what's this guy talking about? Like, you're being dramatic. Like it's just the phone. No, it's literally, it's literally designed to steal your attention. So something, even from right there, something that I know would help you is I, I have a hard, no phones in the bedroom rule. Like I don't sleep with my phone in my bedroom. Because then when I wake up, and this is really the main reason, I can't wake up and just like go through my phone. I need to get up and I, I have a two-story home. So I'm, I'm upstairs, I brush my teeth, all that. And then I even I even get my dog out for a walk. I come in, I take a shower and then I check my phone. Like I, and really, I, I honestly, I don't, I, I wouldn't force this anyone, but I don't check my phone until after I've done like my first hour of work in the morning too. Like I literally just leave it downstairs. On top of that, something I recommend in our in our program is um, uh, I have a I have a smartphone, and then I have like a work a work phone or I call it a work tool, because because so many people say, well, I have to have this like I need to have, so like I'll tell people, hey, get social media on your phone, you don't need it, and they're like, well, I have to have it for work, and whether that's true or not, a lot of times is like if they really understood social media, they probably knew that wouldn't be true because you can access social media from your computer. But anyways. Say, cool, all the things you need, put it on another phone or an iPad. And then just use your phone 
as you know people can call you people can text you or whatever parameters you decide to do there but then you're splitting it up so like when i go out for example i've got my phone and if i have an emergency you know my wife can call me whatever it may be but i don't have social media on there i've literally eliminated the option and because if i didn't yeah i'd probably swipe through it i'd probably just waste attention on that just little little things like that dissecting it um but i want to make sure that i get to the um the thing i was gonna show you so let me let me pull this up really quick. I, I think our my office is like really hot. I don't you can probably see I'm sweating. I'm very warm. Everybody's just making me nervous today. Um let's see, weekly. Well, you're in Florida, I'm in Texas. I've been, it's been like nearly a, been, over a hundred degrees like too. every single day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show this is gonna look like a little um I don't want to say sloppy, but like this is this format is just what resonates with me and if it there's different ways this can be like put basically but i just want to kind of show you what i do just to give you an example so every week i do something that, that i call a battle plan and this actually isn't just a weekly thing i do a a five-year battle plan a yearly battle plan a quarterly battle plan actually a six-month battle plan a quarterly battle plan a monthly battle plan a weekly battle plan and a daily battle plan so starting from zooming way out and looking at like the five-year things that I want to accomplish, and then I just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So this is the weekly one. So I literally, I'll just, I'll plan off the week. And I'd show you up at the top, but there's a lot of personal stuff on there. So it's kind of like, but I start the week looking back in previous weeks. So here's, here's literally what happened. I just go to my daily battle plans. It's like, Hey, on Sunday, I, you know, I was, I did our student community live and I, you know, I accomplished this thing that I, whatever it may be. You know, and then I know on Monday, I, I worked on some, some sales team stuff. And then actually last week, me personally, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was off because I had family in town. And then Friday, I had a good work day. I worked on, you know, X, Y, Z. And then Saturday, um, you know, I, I put more energy and time into my relationship and just whatever. So I just reflect on the, on the, on the week. And then I look back and I reflect, you know, what was, what was this past week's PTNF, which means pushing the needle forward, because we find ourselves doing all these activities that like, we convince ourselves that are important, but they're not actually pushing the needle forward in our life, whether it's business, whether it's personal, whether that's relationships, it's just busy work. So my, you know, I know my PTNFs right now, we have not brought on new students strategically because I've been building out a new course and now we're bringing them on. So my, like the things I'm working on are just rebuilding out, you know, a quote unquote, a sales process and, and making it something that doesn't consume my life, but actually works. And then in the personal life, you know, making sure that even while I do that, and even while I work out more, I'm making the main thing, the main thing, which for me is my relationship with my wife, because I, I don't care if I make $5 million a month. If I'm not prioritizing my relationship with my wife, it does not matter. It is literally irrelevant and it does nothing for me. Um, and then I just reflect on that. These are just some little things that I just cross off. Um, and then I plan the next week. So this is kind of thing that'll help you more because you can't look back if you haven't planned the previous week. So I, I look at the, so each, as you chunk down from the monthly battle plan to the weekly battle plan, you start with, so the monthly push the needle forward, like what's the big things we're working on this month? Usually just one thing. What can I do this week to, to help with that month? And I do the same thing daily. What can I do today to help with this week's push the needle forward? So that might be, you know, let's say for you, I mean, let, let's literally just like role play this. So for you, let's say you did a whole monthly battle plan if there's one thing that would push the needle forward in your life this month, what would that be? And it can be, it doesn't need to be like super serious. It could be like something that's like, I know I really. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm having to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll make something up for now. I, I definitely just put you on the spot. Let's say, let's just say, you know, you would really struggle with, your nutrition and you're like, you know, this, this is the month that I nailed down macros. Let's just say that's, you know, just an example. Like, let's say you've never like okay. ever tracked macros and you're, and you're like, okay, this is the month I do that. So, Hey, so remind yourself, this would be, you pull this from your month. I had mine linked here, but you pull it for your month. But we're not making this up. So you just say, okay, my monthly PTNF was, uh, this is the month of nailing macros, whatever it may be. So what could we do this week, the first week of August, to get to to make sure that by the end of the month we have nailed down our monthly PTNF. So I would say, hey, I'm gonna make sure I hit my protein goal five of seven days. Right. Because you may have a, this may be a goal for somebody that is 
now granted this is not like the hardest goal in the world but for somebody it might be this might be like climbing Mount Everest to somebody so we're, we're just going to get our way there because the big thing with these goals that, that I set each month or each week or each day they need to be things you know you can attain we're not like so I actually listened to a lesson from um, one of the people I mentioned Yasin Rashad and he said he learned this from like a, a Navy SEAL and the, the, the place that people go wrong in setting goals is they set these like big elaborate goals because they think it'll motivate them. And it literally does the exact opposite because what happens is inevitably you don't get there. It pisses you off. It's you, you, you end up being frustrated. Instead, what the most successful people, you know, do is they set stupid small goals, but they hit all of them. And okay. the Navy SEAL example he gave was when the Navy, so general law enforcement, like they'll just like throw you in a target range. You got to hit some targets, whatever. Navy SEALs, what they do is they, they take the target and the first shots they take, they take from six inches away. Do you think, do you think they're going to miss that? I mean, they're Navy SEALs. Like there's literally no chance, but they hit it. And then they move back six, six inches. They hit it from 12 inches. And they just move back to the point where like, instead of just walking to the range and shooting, you know, sniping somebody from a mile away on some Chris Kyle type stuff, like that's probably not super realistic, but they hit all these goals. They build a ton of momentum. And then when they're shooting from 20 feet away, it feels like a layup because they just hit the last 15 shots. And that's, that's what the goal is with all this planning. By, by daily planning, am I doing anything in one single day that's going to like change my life? No, honestly, I'm not. But, but by, do, by hitting all these small wins and really just getting 1% better, I'm compounding that to the five years from now, I'm a completely different human being. Even just like six months later, I'm a completely different human being. So anyways, going through this example, so then I'll, I'll, pl I'll literally plan out my week. So business, make this smaller really quick. Um, is this helping or am I, is this overkill right now? No, no, you're, you're good. You're okay, good. Cool. Um, so I might say, you know, Hey, for, for this, and this is where I can kind of look at, um, I can kind of go back to that month with battle plan two and kind of, it'll help me like to kind of work on the tasks to get to my goals for this month. So you know, Monday, I might say, um, you know, work on, this is just specific to me, but I might work on ad copy, right? I might write some ads, you know, Tuesday, I might work on ad creative. Uh, Wednesday, I might play around with ad budget plus write a sales script. Uh, Thursday, I might work on, well, just things that are going to work towards, well, okay, so this is, hang on, I'm going to go back and use this example. I don't know. So this is business. And this is personal. Yeah. This is specific to me. Maybe somebody else's business isn't relevant to them. Maybe whatever. But so then personal, I might say, okay, I'm going to, I mean, Monday's weird. Let's just say it was Sunday or whatever. So plan my meals. Um, and when I plan my meals, I'm also going to make a grocery list. And then let's say I go grocery shopping. Now that's a lot for one day, but Hey, let's, or let's just say, you know, I plan my meals and made a grocery list and then this day I'm going grocery shopping. Then let's say later in that day, I also decide to meal prep. Um, then what are the personal things? Or maybe I am learning more about macros from Trevor, whatever. And then maybe, you know, I'm, I'm getting out for a long bike ride because I really want to. And these are just personal things. And then in, in, you know, relationships, you know, for me, obviously I'm kind of tackling things with my wife. There might be people that are listening to me that are as single as you can possibly be and this is relationships with their kids or their parents or their friendships because we, we don't exist on island and if we do it's probably again, not going to be the most fruitful life possible so we're just working on our relationships here just whatever so then and this is i've toyed with changing the order of this but so this week i want to focus on one thing that i know i can accomplish so i might say you know this is the week of nailing down my protein intake right because that's kind of what we're working on this week so then and this is a this is huge if i get these things done that i just planned what would i be happy with this week and the reason i asked that um mike yes i'll, I'll make a let me just write it down I'm really quick share yeah i was gonna say the same thing if you could <laughs> like share this template <laughs> i've shared it in the group before but i i'll uh, i'll 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 make a copy of this and share it um, it's in, this is actually in MRA too, uh, Mike, so okay. you'll, you'll see at some point. Um, and Adolfo, we, you and I got to chat at some point and get you in there. Um, so the reason I asked this question, this is so huge. 
a lot of times we'll, this happens to so many people, you'll get through the week, you'll, you'll literally do all these things, but by the end of the week, because the daily battle plan is just important, you, you need to make sure you're doing these things, you need, you're working through, you're, you're, just, you're doing the work day by day, then you get to the end of the week and you do your, your weekly look back. And they'll say, hey, here's what I did this week. I actually did all these things. And you know what? I decided to grocery shop this day too. I got a day ahead. So then I meal prepped and then got to whatever. But you got everything done. We get to the, end of the week and then we're like, man, I feel like I could have done more. Or I feel like I should have done this or whatever. That's where you go back and you read this. And it literally says, this is the week of nailing down my protein intake. Would I have been happy? Will I be happy if I got all this done? A lot of times I write, I look at this and I honestly say, I would be I would be elated. And like, and I don't say that like in some weird way, like I, I make this plan so that, Hey, if I get all this done, I'll be so happy. And then I, and so when I do my weekly review before I plan the next week, I look back and I'm like, yeah, I did all of this. I actually did a little bit more. And I have this, we all just naturally were like, man, I feel like you, you naturally will gravitate to things you could have done better or the place you could have done more. But you have to say, no, I literally did everything I planned out to do. And then some I'm over the moon about this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, just I'm just thinking about things that I can fill in <laughs> as you're as you're gotta going through this too. It's, like <laughs> I wanna say too that like this is something that I've been like I've been doing this for a while. So this isn't like a um I don't know. Like I, I like there's not a lot of pressure, I guess. Like it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna come to you right away. But there is a sorry, I'm just clearing this out because this is my own personal one. Um Cool, I think that's clear. So there's a monthly one. To somebody that's new to this, I would recommend doing a monthly one and a weekly one. I think the daily battle plan is for somebody who's like just getting into this is a little bit aggressive. So the first time I ever did this, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get into the daily battle plan. I'm so hyped up. And it was like, it was overwhelming. And I ended up just like not doing it. And I came back to it later. Um, but then as you go, you can kind of you expand on it. Cause I actually do um Yeah, this is honestly, so Charlotte just said this is good for like, for, um, for list people. And that's like, it's like bad on steroids, honestly, because it just helps you stay organized. Um, something else I teach in MRI is, is the concept of brain dumping. And I recommend Telegram because Telegram is free, but I actually use something called Rome Research and it maps out every single thought that I put into it. Oh, okay. Um, so I have, a, I have basically like a spider web of thoughts. So literally just like, you know, my to-do list, workout logs, daily notes, and it just shows how they all connect. Um, hang on. I'm yeah, I actually, I do something similar to that. Uh, uh, I think it's a website called Mind Mapper or Mind Map. Yeah, same, do this same in, concept. In, in project planning, you know, when somebody's like, okay, what do you want done? And everybody just kind of throws in ideas or as it's just a stream of consciousness of things that you're thinking of, just punch it down. And then you kind of like form like, what's a priority exactly. you know, what's not a priority and kind yeah. of go from there huh yeah so i i use i use it more for brain time i'm going to show that i'm i'm nervous there's i've got like some personal information on here but i don't have any like student information so i'm not too afraid of sharing my stuff so like, here's my daily notes for example so i've got my schedule on here um I just got my calls I, I i do i'll plan out the day by 15 minute increments but you'll see this is blank because i was doing my weekly battle plan all this time I, I was prepping for calls, lunch. Obviously, I'm in this call and I have another call after it. Then call actually this call here canceled. That's why that's why I'm not on it right now. Um, right. So you just going through it. Then I've got my to-do list. So this is my today. Every once I get something done, I put it under the screen check mark. Then I can go back to the weekly and I, I can literally go day by day and see what I got done. Um, this you know, so today, then soon, then this week, then next week. Hey, hey Cassie. Um, different notes from the day, upcoming stuff, and then I do an end of day report. Um, gosh you're so organized <laughs> it, it took time it, it, this didn't I didn't like wake up one day and create all this like this is years and years of like infrastructure and even like literally down to like my morning checklist like I'll click that and I just know to go through this um obviously I did it already but my morning battle plan and schedule then I do funnel tracking then I share share that those stats with all my mentors and I go through and I check everything um and I have a midday checklist so just yeah so I don't know, I, but I would recommend, so I, I guess the, the reason I show, showed this though was um, I, I have a morning or I have a daily battle plan template that looks like this, but I don't use it anymore. I, this is my daily battle plan. It's just, it's just what works for me. And I, I guess the reason I show that is like, 
I, I could share, like I can share this template and what I'll do is I'll just copy that, I'll put it in the group and I'll, I'll tag, um, you know, people that mentioned it. So if you want this, just say something in the chat and I'll write down your name and I'll tag you in it. Um, I'm actually gonna put that now. So Mike Adolfo, and then anybody else just say, hey, I want this and I'll tag you in it. Um, but it, even if like the format itself doesn't like relate to you, that's okay. Like it, it's just a medium, but the, the concept of planning, like that's like, that's like a, like, don't miss that. Like you, we have to do that. We just, everybody's got to kind of find what works for them in regards to planning. So um, was this helpful? I, I, I realized yeah. I kind of was all the place. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try this. Like, I mean, honestly, I think it, anything that I do would be an improvement <laughs> in terms of my planning. It's almost like, it seems like my mornings are like a mess lately. It's just like everything kind of like coming at me, you know, and then it's just, I just, I just figure out like what I can do that day. And then sometimes at the end of the day, I'm like, did I even do anything? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, think, so That'll bring some st structure, or at least start. I think I'll put. I think all... it's a really good jumping off point. What What are some of the so when you say so you start your morning and everything comes at you, um, like walk me through, like this morning. I mean, I Sundays are weird, but like walk me through yes. Friday morning. Like, what did that look like? Oh gosh, so Friday morning, it's like, um... like what time did you wake up? What happened next? So Friday morning, like I, I actually, and, and actually this past Friday morning is a good example of that. I actually planned on going to the gym, but I didn't because um, I knew in the back of my mind, like later that Friday, I had to teach a class, a training class. And I was a little anxious because it's been a while since I've taught a class in a while. And, um, and so that was on my nerves. And so the first thing I do is I go to my computer, I start looking at my slides, start looking and start editing, start getting things ready. And then I'm like, oh, crap, I need to eat breakfast now. And so then I go make breakfast, uh, you know, uh, you know, take my pills, my morning pills, my vitamins, stuff like that. And then um, and then I, then I start looking at my emails and then I'm like, oh, crap, I really need to start concentrating on this training because it's you know, you know, about to start. So I, then I'm already having my lunch and then I'm already into that. And then it's like, by the end of the day, I'm like, I, I didn't even get, get to go to the gym. So in the evening, at least I just walked, I, I tried to at least do something. So, and yeah. I had a planned, I had a planned uh, rest day. So that kind of helped. So I just kind of made that my rest day and then just uh, kind of, you know, uh, walked on the treadmill and then, and then pretty much kind of had dinner and then that was it. But it's at the same time, it's like, I could have, I could have done better that day. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, to some extent, and I mean, trust me, I've, I've heard this be way more worse, but instead of having a day, it kind of sounds like the day had you a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like yeah. you kind of, you know, you just kind of took things as they came instead of like you dictated what happened in your day. And I think the way to kind of peel that back is, you know, if you had, like, who, who's, who is someone that you, who's the person that, like, if you could have dinner with one person, who would that be? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just pick, pick somebody. Like, for me, I, I mean, Bill Gates would be interesting. Um, Obama would be very interesting. There you go. Obama would be really Barack interesting Obama. to me. That'd be a heck of a day. I feel like that'd be fun too. So if you had dinner with Barack Obama at five o'clock tonight, would you miss that? No, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, I'd, probably, like, I'd probably even be nervous before that too. Yeah. Like you could like literally get like in a car accident on the way there. You'd probably still find a way there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, I mean, it's just like, duh. That same feeling of like, I'm not missing this. It's so important. You've got to translate that to you to like your morning routine, to your, like, to your time, to, to, so like my morning routine, I'm, I like, I'm ruthless with it. Like I'm going to do there. I've got a list of things that I want to do for myself before I check my phone, before I reply to messages, before I look at emails, be before I start work, like before all these. And obviously to do that, I got to get up at a certain, at a certain time. Like there's obviously there's some logistical barriers there, but 
I treat those things like it's a dinner with Barack Obama. They're that important to me. I'm not missing them. And when you do that, they start happening. But when you like wake up and you're like, ah, oh, we'll kind of see what, how, where the morning takes us. And like, you just kind of like subconsciously let it flow. I don't know. We'll see what happens, you know? So, okay. That would be my challenge to you is like the, the things that you know, you want to do for yourself and the things that are important to you, like within reason, I'm not saying like, Oh yeah, never go to work again. And like wear your pajamas all day. Like not what I'm saying, but like waking up, you know, maybe for you getting for like a 15 minute walk would be something you'd want to do, or maybe just brushing your teeth, like just silly things, treat those things. Like it's a dinner with Barack Obama. And all of a sudden, boom, you'll, you'll be there. So, and then once you do it enough times, you, you create the habit. It, the hardest part is doing it for the first couple of weeks. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. That's pretty cool. You should try another one. Nailed it.